War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. Insta mash, fancy lad snack cakes, Blamco mac and cheese. Expires in never. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hmm. More the same. Someone 
little sticky. I should attend for young Shaw. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. But then we're looking at a cold front coming down from Canada, making it crisp and dry for next week's Halloween festivities. Looking in on next week's forecast. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A. Plus. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every it's day. It's a little early to be drinking. I'm so proud of her. Good old USA. Good morning, Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech, remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters, vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. I'm a little busy right now. Oh, of course, of course. This won't take but a moment. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Need to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of, uh, <coughs> total atomic annihilation. Now, I can't wait for the world to end. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do 
Coming we in. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got some. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered. Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. The nukes are coming. Vault participants, head this way. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Who cares? Just help me pack it up. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If you're in hey. the program, step forward. Otherwise, you? return Not home. Me? Someone's going to hear about this. Are you registered? We need to get in. But we're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me! Come on! What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? everything we can! Now keep moving! Sir, we need to send you down to the vault! Step on the platform! Step on the platform! In the center! Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, We'd no. All be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Hey. Up the stairs. Excuse me. Just head up the stairs. We'll take care of everything. We'll get everyone through this as quickly as possible. Female. Just head up the stairs. Here for you. Right over there. Right over there. Over there. Take a suit. Just step over to the table. Take a vault suit, then head down the hall. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. Uh, how long it? do you think we'll be down I here? Know this is a oh, we'll be going but over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just think? checking everyone the off the list. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Hey there. That was a nuke. Shh. A goddamn nuke. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Hey there. Vault Tech is here See? for you. 
Just follow Ten's your guide. Ten's not going far. All set? Excuse me. Just step inside. An elevator. Put on your boots. So slow. Hey there. Oh. Oh my god. Excuse me. Guess we're some of the lucky ones, right? Whew. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the wall. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. <sighs> Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. Critical and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Why would Vault Tech do this? Can't get anyone left. Hello? Anyone? Oh God. Oh God. Please contact your Vault Tech maintenance representative. 
giant roaches? What the hell? Where is everyone? Is this all that's left? later for you.
Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? to the world. The world, sir. Well, the 
besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. Oh, nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! <laughs> another house. Follow me. Picking up not this time.
Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. I like these people already. Oh, good! Maybe you'll get along then, and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Bingo. I'm coming, buddy. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together.
settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but huh. things fell nah, apart. Ah, that ain't it. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's old Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. 
ghouls? What are ghouls? God damn it. Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed uh, up and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. Uh, maybe? They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Uh, nope. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. You're not what I expected dog meat would find in that little neighborhood. But oh, so much better. So, he's your dog? Aw, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the chems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. I'm listening. I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm, I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a raider. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. We need help. And we get a vault dweller? What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Bleed to death? You okay? We can't just stay trapped in here! This is ridiculous! 
Somebody do something. Nice. Think. Mister. Yeah. I promised we'd get there. I promised. I promised we'd get there. I promised. I could. I could keep my promise. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so. S Look, Sturgis may be. There we go. Hey, but he ain't much good in the fight. I need you to do this. Hey, Sturgis. That armor may be old, but it's got a standard interface. Just jack the fusion core in. Gun up. Not a lot of people can get past my ball. Come on, I got places to be.
You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other men and men. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny. Isn't there? I've seen it, and I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time, out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, turn on, out any hold worse on. than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy... Got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> 